What's going on, folks? It's K Spade the Prospect. I'm back today with more Madden NFL 16 gameplay for you guys. We're on connected franchise mode, which means we are back with those two brothers that we love, man. That'll be Johnny Hit Hard and, of course, his younger brother Josh Williams. Under first year head coach Ed Reed, these guys kind of got the Raiders looking, you know, they could be it. However, today they do have a big challenge ahead of them. They got to take on division rivals, the Denver Broncos. And before you think all about Peyton Manning, think about the young quarterback, Josh Williams, already struggling some. He's got to take on, get this, Chris Harris Jr., who quite possibly could be the best corner in the game, or definitely one of the best corners in the game. But it doesn't get any easier on the other side with Aqib Tlaib. So, I mean, two very good top-tier cornerbacks. And Josh has already been kind of struggling. You saw so far this season, three TDs, three INTs. It's going to be an epic game. Let's get into it, man. This is the first drive of the game right here. Josh out here looking like he got it under control. Moving his team down the field till they get to this third and ten. And whoo, Aqib Tlaib was right there. Almost came up with the pick. And the Raiders fizzled out on that drive. It was a pretty good drive, but I mean, eh, fizzled out. No points. Broncos come out here. Let's see what they offense look like. Of course, they are led by Peyton Manning. One could argue the best quarterback in the league right now. I know the Brady fans going to have something to say about that, but whether you love them or hate them, you got to respect them. But on third and six right here, it looks like the Raiders defense just might have his number. It's still early. Don't get too hyped. Raiders offense back on the field, running a nice play right here to Marcel Reese, the fullback star, picking up the first down. Ten yards on that carry. Josh liked it so much, he decided, you know what, let's get Marcel more involved in the offense. This time, he passes to him in the flats. Marcel, with a pretty decent pickup. Uh, later on in that drive, second and ten. Check this out here. Josh, time in the pocket. Going to zip one across the middle, but a big hit was lowered on that receiver who couldn't hold on to it. This puts the Raiders in a third and ten situation. Josh... Getting out of the pocket, moving. He is mobile. Don't forget about that. This kid ran the option offense at Georgia Tech. He picks up the first down with his feet. I like those dual threat quarterbacks, right? The play action late in that drive. Third and nine. And again, man, these Denver cornerbacks are not having it. This time it's Roby who lets Crabtree know what he thinks about him after breaking up that play. Raiders go for it on fourth down. And, and that's what you get when you get really good DBs, man. Aqib Tlaib wasn't even guarding that receiver. Broke off of his matchup to break up that pass. Beautiful, man. It's so a 0-0 game. Win the second quarter. This is the type of game we expected to see. You know, when you put these two types of teams, these rivals, when you put them on the field together, this is the matchup you see. And there's some hard hitting going on, too. C.J. Anderson picking up the first. Got the hell knocked out of him, but he picked up the first. Peyton with time in the pocket, throwing one right down the seams. Beautiful pass. He's going to move the chains, and they are in striking distance. Right here on the 21, not quite the red zone, but they can smell it. They can they can sniff that thing. They right there. However, Peyton out there with all his, oh, my, oh, my. He messing up his own team, man. Oh, wait a minute. It's crazy. I didn't even jump off sides, but they calling it a neutral zone infraction on the defense. Very controversial call. But Peyton right here throws a pick. I was using the defensive lineman, trying to put some pressure on Peyton. I wanted him to do just that. Rush a pass. He rushes it. And look who's on the receiving end of that. That is none other than Johnny Hithart. Jumped the route, broke the tackle, and took that thing to the house. Let's go. That's how you come back out of retirement, man. This dude, Johnny, is it. Look at the pressure. The pressure's getting there. Peyton throws it, and Johnny comes out of nowhere. He teleported. He's an X-Man. Let me stop. Because y'all will be like, <laughs> y'all will be like, Spade, chill out. I, hey, I'm a fan. What can I say? Beautiful interception. And like I said, man, the dude, not only is he a ball hawk, but when he gets the ball, he knows exactly what to do with it. It ain't no catching Johnny Hit hard from behind. It just ain't going down like that. 7-0. Who would have thought the first seven get put on the board was by one of the brothers, but not the QB. Cool. 7-0 game. Peyton is going to come out here and definitely try to make up for his mistakes. Beautiful pass. I don't know if this receiver got two feet in. You see the Raiders bench is saying, uh-uh. So, you know, we got to go to a review. We want to make sure they're getting the call right. A second look, that's a bad angle. Come on, give us a better angle out here. That's one foot. Woo, two toes down. That boy looked like a tap dancer. Beautiful catch. Look at the ref. We know, ref. We know. 
All right, first and 10. Peyton in an empty backfield. You know he's in gunslinger mentality when you see no running back back there. And not only do he come out passing, but they're going to go no huddle. They're going no huddle monster. He's trying to get it popping right here. Second and short. Peyton with another short pass. Now, this team right here, they don't always go deep. They would dink and dunk all the way down the field. Another no huddle this time. Slinging it underneath, and that's Demarius. I think that's Demarius. Getting a little bit of rack after that catch. And later on in that drive, man, second and 10. Look at this right here. Peyton with time in the pocket. Throwing it down in the flats again. This guy, I guess he thought he was closer to the out-of-bounds line than he really was. He probably could have cut that upfield. Luckily, he didn't. Third and eight. This is the end of the second quarter. The Broncos want to put seven on the board. I know they do. They don't want three. 25 seconds to go. Peyton throwing one in the corner, and that's a beautiful interception. That's that cover two zone, but the awareness right there, the cornerback, to drop back a little bit deeper and get the pick, it derails their plans to score before the first half ended. However, they do get it back at the top of the third. I keep saying top like this is a baseball game, but y'all know what I mean. But Peyton, man, such beautiful precision on his passes, dropping that one right in the pocket after, uh, I don't know, some type of penalty. It's first and 20, and Johnny's showing us how he got the nickname. Beautiful run play right there. He came off the edge and cracked C.J. Anderson. When you hit a running back like that, he starts to look for you. Like before the play start, he back there looking. Where's Johnny? Where's Johnny? Third and forever, Peyton Manning. Under pressure, just barely getting his pass off before he getting sacked, but they definitely going to have to punt. And look at Johnny and Demarius exchanging some words. If Demarius knew how much of a goon Johnny was, he wouldn't even, he don't want them problems, man. The Raiders offense is back on the field, and Josh Williams picking up the first down with his feet. He has the ability to do that, and maybe he needs to do it a little more. I never thought I'd be saying that, but maybe he needs to run more because right now his arm is like Linguini. He don't have the strength to get those passes in there like he needs to. Third and short, Latavius Murray is going to pick up the first down on a nice little dive right there. Beautiful. All we want to do if we're a Raider fan out here is root for these guys to protect the football, no turnovers, and eat clock. You got a lead, albeit a small lead, it's still a lead. 7-0, nice pass right there. Look, second and short. Josh with time in the pocket. And oh my God, Akeem Tlaib who has been, he been flirting with an INT this whole game. That time he just jumped the route, came from behind the receiver, picked it off. And I just said they got to protect the ball. That's not what they need. Raiders defense has been playing pretty well so far. And they still trying to keep it up. They want to get off the field or drink some Gatorade, relax, check Twitter, see what your baby mama talking about. You don't want to be out here on the field against Peyton this much because eventually the dude might, he might hit pay dirt. You saw him pick up a first down now. First and 10. The play action goes up quick and oh my God, look at Johnny, yo. Johnny was coming in like a heat sinking missile trying to kill Demarius. Remember Demarius was talking trash and pushing on Johnny a little earlier. You don't want those problems, baby. You don't. Beautiful pass right here. And also a great job to hold on to it. You know, the Raiders defense out here lowering the boom. That must have been a penalty again, man. We got a first and 20. Peyton dropping back in an empty backfield. Dinking it right by a Raiders defender. It was a guy right there. Couldn't get a hand on it. That's the tight end right there. What it said was his fifth catch. So you can see what I'm saying about dinking it. Running backs and tight ends are on the receiving end of a lot of these passes. And Peyton is throwing a lot. Right here, Demarius said, hold up. Put my name in that list too. I'm getting my catches. First and 10, close to the red zone. Peyton taking a shot down the field. Almost an INT for eventual Hall of Famer Charles Woodson. Man, Charles has had a great career. And he's here to also help mentor Johnny Hithart. It should have been a pick for him, though. That pass right there puts him in striking distance for real. Later in that drive, second and goal from about the four-yard line. Peyton is passing, and great defense. Nobody was open. That's a coverage sack. Peyton goes down. Down goes Peyton. Third and goal. Peyton Manning went more time and more time, and woo, that's broken up. It shocked me, but it was broken up. The Broncos are going to have to settle for three right here. It's a 7-3 game with two minutes to go. Come on, Raiders. Let's get this dub, yo. This thing ain't pretty. Let's just get the dub. Crabtree coming up with a big-time catch for him. They're going to move the chain. Later in the drive, third and nine. Josh rolling out, thinking about running. Looked like he wasn't sure. Broke a tackle. Ends up going down just shy of the first down marker. It's fourth and short. Raiders are going to go. And look at this. Crabtree across with a slant. 
Josh hits him right on the money and Crabtree does the rest. He skips into the end zone for his first score of the game, first offensive score of the game for the Raiders offense. And Josh Williams kind of saved face right there because it was a lukewarm type of day for the kid until he was able to convert that one. Beautiful. This was fourth and two. Anytime you take a slant and you do this with it, it's a huge plus for the offense. And we're going to go ahead and close the curtains. The Broncos got the ball back. I think they put another three on the board, but yeah, we ain't impressed. Big time win for the Raiders. So far, so good, right? So as you guys can see, man, we did choose Fridays for this series. And I want you guys to get behind this series, man. If you like it, tell a friend to tell a friend. Bang the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.